Hey there, this is Amy with crazybeautiful.com and um, I'm going to be using Perfect Blend and Holiday Invitation stamps today to make a gift card holder and we're going to color it with the Blendabilities markers so I'm going to give you some tips on doing that. My gift card holder I want a little bit larger than um, I'm going to move this up so I don't have to zoom. Instead of the gift card on the top here, I'm going to just bump it down to the one that uses the five and a half inch piece of cardstock. So I'm going to get a two and a half by three and a half. So that's just going to give me a little bit more room in my um, gift card holder, and that way my little coffee cup will fit on it also. So um, starting with five and a half inch square and our punch and score lines are going to be at two and three eighths. I like to punch first and if you'll recall you're just going to do the opposite sides. Ooh, everything shakes. So there we go. We've measured the two and three eighths on those two sides and I'm going to take then and just line this score guide up with that notch right here goes in there and the other side so remember on these two sides you're not measuring you're just lining it up with the notches and punching and scoring so before I forget I'm gonna pick which one is my top and round that off. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, and I just like to mark with my little tool, a little line, and trim that off. Okay, so I've got that trimmed off. And I usually like it assembled like this, so I'm just going to put some snail right here. And you can use Sticky Strip or our new Fast Fuse. I need to get some of that, um, maybe for my next 3D video. Um, so there you go. Here's just our basic envelope. I cut a one inch strip from a fall pattern that's in my Motley, Motley Monsters designer series paper. And I'm going to make just a belly band. And I'm just going to show you how I kind of freehand this. I want it to sort of end right here because this is where my coffee cup is going to go. So. I'm just going to gently wrap it around. You don't want it too tight when you do a belly band because you don't want people to think they're supposed to rip it off. You want it to kind of slide off. So I'm just gently folding it. And I'm just going to trim it so I have enough of an overlap to um, glue that. Go. This is cute because it's kind of fall um, to go with my little pumpkin spice coffee and we'll use some dimensionals to pop this on and when you do that just make sure you only adhere it to the belly band and not just so that this can all kind of slide off together. So there you go. I'm just going to do a little stamp on the inside, a little card on the inside of this. And I will tell you, I experimented a little with my blend abilities to see if I could color on my photopolymer stamps. And let me just say, the answer is no. So now I have a permanently colored little pumpkin. And that won't come off. I think there might be some kind of cleaner that I can use, but 
but I haven't figured that out yet. So I'm just going to do this kind of old school, color it with my Stampin' Right markers, huff on it, and stamp it. I need to clean up this edge. It didn't quite stamp right, but you can also just come back and color a little bit in like that. Sorry, you can't see that. Okay, so here's this. I'm going to take my Starbucks gift card, and I actually might just go to Starbucks now. Oh, sorry, teachers. That was for you. So I'm going to stick this gift card on the back with a glue dot. Sorry, I'm trying to do it upside down. So I'm just going to stick it on with a glue dot, so that's kind of cool. Um, pop that in here, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching my video. Check out my blog for more ideas and inspiration. Thanks.